season. But I've been mean since then. I've been meaning to catch up, and I've been meaning to um, hop back on and tell you guys hello, and uh, keep answering your questions because because uh, it's been a while, and we haven't really talked about season three yet, and we haven't been able to post a lot about season three yet because there's so much happening, and there's so many new things happening that there's not much we can talk about. But anyway, besides the point. Hey Zelda. Um, I miss you, by the way. Um, besides that point, at first I wanted to just say thank you guys so much for being so supportive of Glass Slipper. Um, it was a song I did a couple years ago, recorded it, and it just it sat there because I never knew what to do with it. I never had a, a real way to put it out there that made sense. And... Um, then suddenly I, I had this realization I wanted to do something for Girl Up for Giving Tuesday and um, it, it all kind of came together very quickly and I, I was, I'm was i so thrilled that you guys hi Joel um, I'm so thrilled that you guys love the song and I'm so thrilled that you guys have been so supportive of Girl Up in this because that's the important bit you know they do such amazing work out there in the world and any little bit I can do any little part I can have in helping to support that is uh is huge and the fact that you guys are helping me with that is incredible um so thank you guys for being so cognizant and for thinking about greater things in the world um so and and for those of you who don't know i released a song called glass slipper to benefit girl up so between now and the end of the year uh my song Glass Slipper is available on all downloading platforms, all streaming platforms, and 100% of the proceeds are going straight to Girl Up. Myself, the other songwriters and producers have all uh, forfeited any profits we would make on the song to benefit Girl Up because they're incredible and they do such amazing things for people all over the world. Um, so there's that. And there will be more coming on that front very soon. I have lots of um, lots of other things Girl Up and Glass Slipper related coming quickly. Uh, but I should know more next week. Next week or the week after. We're, we're wrapping up the A part of Shadowhunters, so things are busy. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you for all of the wonderful birthday wishes and all of your tweets and kind words and um, the cards and the art and everything else that I, I've received from you guys, both digitally and uh, in person. Um, just thank you. It's It's been, you know, it's Thanksgiving week. And coincidentally, it's just it's it's been a week that I've been really grateful for for you guys and for everything. So um, great big ol' thank you. And on top of that, saying oh there we go, I'm here. Don't go anywhere, guys. <laughs> also, I have to. I'm supposed to. Um, I've been meaning to announce that I will be at Portugal Comic Con in a couple weeks, which I'm very excited about. I've never been to Portugal, uh, and you guys know I love traveling, I love seeing new places, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing those of you angels that are going to be there, and uh, seeing the beautiful country. It's, you know, I love traveling new places, and this is such a wonderful opportunity to do that. So, all exciting things on all fronts, ladies and gents. Uh, so what else is going on? Let's let's talk about things. We are doing episode nine of ten of the first half of the season of Shadowhunters, and we will very soon be moving on to part B, episodes eleven through twenty. Uh, let me tell you guys, crazy things are happening. Hey, Xenia, I miss you, like crazy. Um, very 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 exciting things happening on Shadowhunters this season. If you guys have any questions, send them my way. Um, I know a lot of you guys have probably seen the trailer for um, the season that's been released at Comic Con. Barely scratched the surface of all the of all the things that are going on. It's so interesting this season because we have so many new things happening, and there's so many um, new characters. Hey, Kaylee! So many new characters, so many new um, storylines, new plot points. Um, some people coming back. Some people who are brand new, new supernatural elements, new storylines, new weapons. Um, what can I tell you about Clace? Um, Clace is definitely making new steps in their relationship and in uh, the way that they support each other. 
Um, there are lots of new obstacles in their relationship, as always, but also it's sort of a new step for them now that, uh, you know, as you kind of saw at the end of last season, they sort of committed to, to giving their romantic relationship a go and to seeing where things happen. So you not only do you see them, you know, fighting shadows, as you will, <laughs> um, you also see them just as a couple, and you get to see them kind of being normal and silly and having fun and, and relating to each other in that sense, which we haven't really seen before, or at least not for a long time, and that's always really nice. So that's that's been fun. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else can I tell you? Um, anyone from Infernal Devices? I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe not. Um, I would love to be singing Hamilton with Javier. I actually was supposed to be on set that day, and then the schedule changed at the last minute, and uh, I was gutted that I couldn't be there. But don't worry, Javier and I have some things in store for the future. Um, more of Clary's art. Yes, there will be more of Clary's art. Clary goes back a little bit to her roots. Uh, you see more of her art in the literal sense, and you also see more of how her artistic abilities play into her angelic abilities in the shadow world. So that's, it's very, very exciting. Um, more Luke Clary scenes in season three. Yes! I am so excited because I get to work with, uh, with Isaiah. I get to work with Harry a little bit. I get to work with, um, a lot of people that I haven't gotten to work with before, which is very, very nice. And it's, it's, it's so fun because the entire cast is such a family and because everybody does get along so well that it's nice to be able to get to spend time with, you know, every single person on the cast or at least most people on the cast at work. There's still some people I've yet to work with that I'd like to, so hopefully that'll be coming in the future. Um, but it makes it a lot of fun because I have a different relationship with each person and so getting to play into that on screen is... It, it, it keeps it fresh and it keeps it spontaneous and it, it keeps for new and different sides of the characters showing up all the time, which is ever so exciting. Werewolf, vampire, or angel? I'm going to say warlock because that actually, if I had to pick a supernatural being, that's what, um, that's what I would choose to, to be. What about Lilith? Ooh. Lilith is bad news. Uh... And Anna Hopkins, who plays Lilith, is brilliant. And I'm so excited for all of you to see her work. Um, she's been a great addition to the show. Oh, she, Lilith is so bad, though. She's, she's, she's brutal. There's a lot of brutal things this season. <laughs> you guys are going to need some tissues. Is there are a lot of plot twists? Yes, there's always plot twists. Come on, Shadowhunters. Climbing. Climbing is there a little bit. There's, you know, they're they're working on their relationship because after the breakup, after the Sealy Court, they were both crushed in a sense because their relationship had been so strong and they knew from that moment forward it would never be the same. And so they have to figure out what the new normal is and they have to figure out how to be in each other's lives and sort of mend that. Um... Which, it's Clary and Simon, so not to worry. They just need time. Like Simon said, they just need time. And also Simon's dealing with a whole slew of other things, and so is Clary. So they're, you know, they're always there for each other. They always will be. But um, they're the kind of friends that don't have to talk every day in order to, to stay close. Although I wish they would talk more. Is Clary happy? Um, sometimes. Sometimes not. That's all I can say. Favorite episode? I cannot choose. There's been so, there's so much. I, I tried the other day, actually. I tried to figure out what my favorite episode so far has been um, this season that we shot, my favorite new episode, and I, it's impossible. It's impossible to choose. Um, I think it might still be coming up. Any secrets I can share? You guys don't want me to share secrets. You want to be surprised. I do work with Emrod quite a bit, and it's going to be a lot of fun for you guys to see. Um, <laughs> so many good questions. <laughs> hey, Keegan. 
Um, where is she now? I can't tell you where she is. I can't tell you where Clary is. She's in the shadow world somewhere. <laughs> Favorite book out of the six? <sighs> See, okay, I try and figure this out all the time, and I, it always ends up, I think I know my answer, and then the more I think about it, I I think books three through six, if I had to pick a section, are my favorite, because that's when things get really twisted. Some Clia? I would love some Clia in my life. I think that would be great. I would love to work with Alicia more. I haven't read the Infernal Devices yet. I only read the Mortal Instruments because I really wanted to just be in Clary's head and to focus on the story that we were telling now. But I definitely plan to read them. Um, well, hey, happy birthday, Sophie. I think that's amazing. Uh, so um, as far as Infernal Devices, yes, I plan, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Um, I plan to read them, but just not yet. I've heard it's very good, actually. There's there's some people on set that have read all the books. And I was chatting just the other day with someone about that. And they were telling me how great the Infernal Devices is. So I'm looking forward to it. Mm, that's an interesting question, actually. Do I think that someone wants to know if they think, I think, that Jace should identify as a Herondale or a Lightwood. And it's interesting because I think about this a lot with Clary in the sense of Fairchild versus Morgenstern. And... I think the essence of it is you have, it's the same with everyone, you have your family that you're born with and then you have your family that you create for yourself. And you can't deny either one because they're both a part of you. So in some ways Jace will always be a Herondale and in some ways he'll always be a Lightwood. And that's just who he is. In the same way that Clary will always be a Fairchild because of the way her mother raised her and because of who she is as a person, that, that compassion and the heart and the love that she has for the people that she cares about. But no matter how much she fights it, she's always a, will be a Morgenstern as well. She has that streak of fire within her. She has that fierceness and that feral nature when she fights and when she she has the sense of, of justice that even though Valentine's sense of justice was twisted, he was still very... Uh, certain in his beliefs, just as Clary is in hers. Um, so it's interesting to see that interplay because both, you know, the Fairchild and the Morgenstern in her are a strength and a weakness. So it's that, it's that combination thereof that makes her who she is. If I could cross over with any show, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I really would love to see a crossover of Shadowhunters and Supernatural. I think that would be really fun, you know, to have the, the Winchesters and the Shadowhunters show up to fight this demon and then be very confused as to why these mundanes could see demons and knew about demons. And then suddenly, um, anyway, I've, I had a whole story in my head the other day. I was rambling on set at 3 in the morning. It happens. <laughs> but I still think it's a good idea. We see Max in season 3. I don't know. That's the that's the most accurate answer I can give you. How's that? That's my favorite episode in season three. Ooh. See, there's so many things we've done. It's what's great about this season is that you're taking the story, you know, season two kind of left us with a, a clean slate of things that we have so many opportunities to um, make new choices and also to continue things that we've been doing and to develop these characters in new ways because every character is kind of at a turning point in their lives. And uh, it's it's been really interesting because we've also been able to, to show more of a maturity with the characters because the world has been brutal to all of them and the world has changed their point of view. With Clary in particular, you know, she's gone from seeing the shadow world as this place of magic and wonder and and intrigue to being a cold, cutting, dark, deadly place. And that, you know, losing her mother, killing her father, finding and losing a brother multiple times. Um, it, she's grown up quite a bit. 
and she sees the world differently now and that affects the way she makes decisions and the way that she treats the people around her and the way that she approaches different situations. Um, so that'll be interesting to see that play out. But, you know, each episode has provided us a real opportunity to dig deeper into different sides of the characters that you haven't seen before and also to explore different parts of the shadow world you haven't seen before. And, uh, to explore the consequences of certain actions that happened on all parts and all characters. You know, we a lot of things happened. A lot of things happened at the end of last season and um, things will certainly continue to happen. I so want to tell you guys. What am I talking about? I can't tell you what I'm talking about. Is there any Clalic Bro TP? You better believe there's some Clalic Bro TP in season three. They can't they can't keep Clary and Alec apart for that long. We have too much fun. <laughs> no, I do get to work with Matt a little bit. Not as much, um, well. No, I do get to work with him a good bit. It's It's been so funny this season because they keep pairing us off in different smaller groups, so I, I forget when I've seen people and when I haven't. It's all, it's all been a blur. We've been, you know, we just kind of put our heads down and go. It's, uh, it's so fun because the whole set is such a family and we take care of each other and we, we have a system now. You know, it's, it's becoming a well-oiled machine and it's, it's great. Ah, good question. One of you is asking, does Jace's problem with coming back from the dead, like how in the previews he's having dreams, and all affect his relationship with Clary? Yes, it does affect things. I can't tell you in what way, but it does have an effect. Favorite singer right now? I was just listening to Pink's new album today, and I'm obsessed with it. The perform Her performance on the AMAs was just badass, in a word. And... Um, I love the music video with Channing Tatum. Hey Ross, how's it going? Do I miss the Maze Runner cast? Yes, I just saw them last week for something. Um, they're pretty wonderful, I gotta say. You know, it's funny because I knew them before I did Shadowhunters and so going back and doing the Death Cure after doing a couple seasons of Shadowhunters, and everybody else has been doing such great things, you know, in between the Maze Runners as well. It's nice to kind of go and come back and see everyone again and, and hear about everyone's stories and do everything. Yes, Ross, I am in Toronto. Um, it's it's really amazing to have that family as well as this family and, and to see it as we go through things. Ooh, i got to plug my phone in. I'm going to keep talking to you guys. We're good to go. Crisis averted. Um, more questions. The earliest I've ever showed up on set. I think the earliest call time I've had on Shadowhunters is, I think I had a 4.30 pickup one morning, something like that, maybe 4 a.m., I don't remember. Yeah, the show does shoot in Toronto. We shoot in and around uh, the, Toronto, the greater Toronto area, and it's such an amazing city. I've, you know, spending, spending the better part of the last three years here, I've really fallen in love with it. It's been a lot of fun. Which city do I like shooting in best? I don't know. I mean, I love I love New York. It's one of my favorite cities. I'd love to um, I'd love to be able to live and work in New York on something eventually in my life. I think that would be really fun. Any character I'd like to interact with more? All of them. Um, I get little bits with with Magnus, little bits with Alec, little bits with Luke. Uh, I'd love to interact with Simon more. I don't get enough Simon time this season. Maya. Um, you know who I really would love to act with more, though, is Nicola. Our characters are, are rarely together, and so it's such a rare occasion that I, I get to see. Nicola uh, plays Maris Lightwood. Um, so I, I don't get to see her enough because I adore her. That would be That would be fun. I don't know what situation that would happen in, but... Um, but that would certainly be nice to get to spend some more time with her. I do not wear fake lashes in Shadowhunters. I just, I use really good mascara. <laughs> and I have a lot of fun. Mascara is probably my, my one must-have item. 
I, yeah, it's it's bad. I love mascara a little too much, I think. But that's okay. The latest I've had to say on set, I think season one, there was a day that we wrapped at 7 a.m. or something. So that's, that's probably the latest. Last night I wrapped at 4 a.m. That was fun. You don't wear makeup? Good for you. That's awesome. I think, you know, makeup is such a thing that I love because I love to play with it and I love to have fun and see sort of what I can do and what I can create with it. But there's some people that don't wear makeup at all, and I really admire that as well. I think it's something that, um, if it makes you feel good, and if it makes you feel like yourself, go for it. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. You know, it's, it's to each their own, and I think that's whatever makes you feel the most beautiful and makes you feel the most yourself is exactly what you should do. Uh, what mascara do I use? My favorite right now is um, the pink CoverGirl one, the Lash Bloom, I think it's called. I really like it. Um, what else? What else? How old am I? I'm 22. As of just a couple days ago, I'm still getting used to saying that. Pretty crazy. You were me for Halloween! Whoa! That's so crazy for me to hear. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. We see Clary with straight hair. No, that doesn't happen yet. Would you guys like that to happen? Is that something you want to see? Downworlders or shadow hunters or both because we love all creatures. Both because we love all creatures. That's something I actually, something I really love about the mythology of this world is that everything is on the scale from, from uh, angels to humans to demons. There's, you know, every creature and every being, I guess, for lack of a better word, in this world is somewhere in that gray area. And it, it sort of goes to show um, that no, nothing is black and white and no one is purely good or pur purely evil. And I think that's something that all of us can remember in life and in the world today. I'm trying to scroll through and see all your beautiful questions. Uh, I'm here for a good bit, Ross. So we, if you pass through, let me know. Do I believe in any of the mythical creatures could be possible? I think anything's possible. I think all of us like to believe magic exists. At least I do. I think it's more fun that way. What advice would I give Clary? This season, I think the best advice I could give Clary would be to stand your ground and don't give up and don't be afraid to do what you have to do in order to fight for the people you love because it's going to get rough there's a lot of frying pan fire situations you know that old adage out of the and into the if you know what I mean I love musicals I actually I was in New York recently and I just saw um, Waitress and Aladdin which were both wonderful um, any chance I get to see a musical, I'm always in. Because I miss it like crazy. Oh goodness, there's so many, so many questions. Do we have any fun on set? What do you guys think? We have tons of fun on set. We have too much fun on set. Um, that's, that's one thing I love about the show is, you know, we get, we get serious when we have to and we get our work done and we, um, we do our best to make you know, the best show possible, and yet we're able to have fun at the same time, and we're able to really enjoy ourselves. Have And we have fun in the sense that we goof around, and we, you know, we, we, we're we silly, and we have a good time, and we joke around, and, you know, we give each other trouble about things, but we also have fun in the way that we really push each other to grow and to be better, and we really push each other to develop our characters and our abilities both physically and emotionally and everything else, and uh, can really explore lots of things, which is extremely exciting. There's more new everything on the show. We have more new downworlders. We have more new clave members. We have more new everybody and everything, more new shadow hunters. It's just all new things and some old things and some things that have stayed the same and many things that are different. I know I'm no help. I'm sorry. All will be revealed soon. 
But to be fair, I don't even know everything. So, where are the season two bloopers? I would like to know as well. You know that? There are many things that I would like to see. Many moments of sheer laughter and silliness and embarrassment that I would love to relive with you guys. But, um, I don't know. <gasps> Favorite weapon? I can't say. Because it's new. And I get to use it. And I'm really excited about it. But I can't tell you guys what it is yet. But you'll find out in episode one. So April 3rd you'll know. Unless they release a scene before. So I don't know. My favorite food? I don't know, guys. I have a weakness for soft pretzels. But I also have a weakness for bruschetta. I also have a weakness for cookie dough ice cream. And anything butterscotch. I have a weakness for lots of things. I think I just like food. <laughs> um, there are lots of clay scenes, actually. So you guys will be happy about that. Do I enjoy training and working out in the morning? I do, actually. It's, it's interesting. I've found that in talking to people, different people um, have more energy and feel as though they get a better workout at different times of day. For me, it's in the morning. So I, I'm, I'm a bit of a morning person, and um, well, I'm also a night owl. I guess I just don't sleep. But I, uh, I quite enjoy getting up in the morning and working out. I just feel awake and energized and ready to start my day. What does season three have in store for you? Lots of horror elements, lots of suspense, lots of blood, lots of blood. Um, lots of unexpected, lots, just lots. I wish I could say more. Truth is, I don't know exactly what I'm allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say, so I'd rather not spoil anything for you than say too much. Uh, but yes, I can tell you Clary makes new runes. Clary and Lorenzo scenes? Not as of yet, but I wish. Um, that's, that's my goal, actually. One of my goals, one of my many goals for the show is to work with Javier at some point. Favorite Christmas food? All of the foods. All of the foods. Um, stuffing, green bean casserole, pumpkin pie, uh, Christmas cookies, candy canes. I love, I love the holidays though. It's kind of, it's my favorite time of year. What is the most liked demon? I don't know. I think that's for you guys to decide, not me. Oh, thank you for asking. My birthday was lovely. I got to spend all day on set working with some of my favorite people. Um, uh, no, but it's it's great because there's no place I'd rather be than working with the people I love on a show that I love and doing what I love for a living. It was kind of the perfect day because I got to work really hard and do some really cool stuff and um, had some stunts that day, which is always a bonus. So, yeah, kind of perfect birthday. So many cool questions. So I have to catch up. I've missed so many. I'm just talking away, missing all your questions. Goodness gracious. You are gonna cry this season. I gotta say, there will be lots of lots of crying, uh, but also lots of laughing, and lots of smiling, and lots of scaring. I mean, there's been <laughs> and some gross stuff. Uh, there's been many times on set where I'm sitting there watching the monitors, watching other scenes, where I'm either gasping or crying. I was crying at a table read the other day during someone else's scene because um, it was just so touching. Or I'm, yeah, oh, there's so much, there's so much, you guys, I just want to tell you. Sorry if my voice sounds a little hoarse, I spent all night outside last night, um, shooting. Some really cool stuff that I can't wait to share. Um, something about Dom, what can I say? Uh, I can say this. 
that Raja and he are so fun to watch. And the same thing with Alberto and Stella, because they kind of, they, ha- they each have their own unspoken language, and it's, it's pretty great to watch. It's lovely. I don't watch The Walking Dead. I need to. I've seen the first couple of seasons, and then it just, it's, I, I was, I had to choose between sleep and Walking Dead, and so I had to, I had to choose sleep. <laughs> how often do I look at uh, fan art slash edits? Often, actually. I really love seeing how creative you guys are and what elements that you notice about the show to put into your art. Um, I think it's really fun to see. So I'll, I'll go on Instagram and I'll search the Shadowhunters hashtag fan art, the fan art hashtags, and I'll search for different things. And I'll go on YouTube and I'll look at your video edits or whatever you guys tweet to me, I'll see. And it's really interesting. I love it. You guys are so talented and so creative. And it, it means a lot to all of us. I know I'm not the only one that does this. So it means a lot to all of us that you guys take the time to make those things and that you, you care enough about our show and about these characters to put that together. I don't speak any other languages, but that's that's a goal I have for myself in the next few years. I'd like to learn another language or two. I took Latin in high school, but I don't speak it, unfortunately. I do like Stranger Things, but I haven't watched season two yet because I'm waiting because I want to really watch it, you know? And I just I haven't had time to actually, like, focus and watch it. I love working with Dylan O'Brien. Um, he is one of my favorite human beings to work with, and it's, uh, I, I think you guys are going to be really happy with Death Cure. It's, it's pretty wonderful. Um, I haven't seen much of it yet, but, uh, being on set and seeing everyone and, and kind of seeing their vision for the film is, you guys are going to be happy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to have been part of that story and part of that family as well. So it's, it's something that I will always treasure. But I direct an episode. I would love to direct uh, in the future. I don't know. I don't know. I've I've gone back and forth about directing Shadowhunters because I know the story so well and I, I know the characters and I know the relationships. It would be interesting to kind of be able to, to approach it from a different perspective. But also I'm so close to it and I'm so involved in it that I don't know if I could have as objective of a viewpoint as I need and that I could do both jobs to the extent that I want to simultaneously. The two jobs being directing and playing Clary. So <laughs> that remains to be seen. Um, I think I need some directing experience first before I try and tackle Shadowhunters because it's not easy. I, I so admire the, the folks that come on to direct our show because they have so many elements to think about and so many things to consider and, and to contend with, um, be it environment, or, you know, just something tricky. Uh, but it's it's pretty great to, to watch them work. And I've learned a lot by watching all of the different directors because each one has a different style and each one has different strengths and different things that, different ways that they approach certain situations. And, and I've learned, learned quite a bit. Is playing Clary fun? Heck, yes. Playing Clary is, is one of my favorite things I've ever done. There's so many aspects, so many elements, so many... Um, different things to do and, and, and I give so much credit to Todd and Darren and, and the entire writing team for continually bringing things that help the characters develop and help show different sides of the characters and help them to kind of continue to move forward and, and never become stagnant. I, that's really important when you have a show like this. Excuse me. <laughs> when you have a show like this um, that has been going for so long. I mean, we've done gosh, almost 43 episodes now, which is kind of insane to think about. You do see Idris in 3A. Um, I can't tell you what of Idris you see, but you do see it. Does that help? Does that answer your question? I hope so. (laughs) 
What am I doing? Hold on. Oh, goodness. Sometimes I, I can't do technology. I don't know what's going on. There we go. So, I have a question for you guys. I was watching um, TV today, and one of the old uh, holiday movies was on. It was um, Here Comes Santa Claus. And it reminded me of being a kid and watching all these old movies. And uh, that and Elf, and there's so many different you know films that I, I watched as a kid. So what, what is your favorite um, holiday film? I want to know. Because I'm getting in the holiday spirit. I just put up my Christmas tree today. I'm super excited. Getting in the holiday spirit. So talk to me. I, wanna, I, I need holiday movie suggestions. Elf, of course. <gasps> Miracle on 34th Street. Yes, good idea. Home Alone, good one. Uh, Frozen, of course. What am I thinking? The Christmas Angel. I don't know that one. Hi, Torrance. How are you? <laughs> uh, Torrance, give me give me holiday movies to watch. Snow White, Evil Dead, holiday movie. Okay. The Cringe. Hey, Chad, I miss you too. Hope all's well. I have to say something that's, that's very interesting that I found about being this in this industry is that you work with people and you become such good friends with people. And, uh, and then both of you end up traveling. Elf, I know, right? Both of you end up traveling. And then you always cross paths. You'll be leaving a city just as the next person comes to it. And then you're constantly circling. And it becomes a sort of game to try and figure out and coordinate schedules when you'll be in the same city with whatever friends you can find. Uh, but it always makes it fun because inevitably you'll be in a city and somebody completely unexpected will be there that you haven't seen in years. That's always a nice treat. Anyway, the traveling circus that we are as actors. Happy Black Friday to you, Torrance. Yes, Torrance, all Fridays do matter, but this Friday especially. Anybody participate in Black Friday? Any crazy Black Friday stories? I did not participate today. I went to the gym, and I ate Thanksgiving leftovers, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. What color would I change my hair? Hmm. I don't know. I think it'd be fun. It's, you know, whenever um, Nancy is our, our hair designer on Shadowhunters, and she pulls, she'll have different wigs out event, or occasionally for, for one thing or another, and inevitably all of us will end up trying on the wig and trying on the hair color, and I think it's so fun to play with. Um, but wigs are a beautiful thing because you get to experiment with hair color without the damage to the hair. So and that's always the most fun. Oh, my favorite Disney character? That's so difficult. Hmm. I think, okay, I, I have to narrow it down, just otherwise I'll be here for ages discussing all the different categories. Uh, as far as the, the Disney princesses go, I'd have to say either Mulan or Pocahontas. Those have always been my favorites, because they're, they're the warrior princesses. They're the ones that fight for what they believe in. And they're the ones that I'm really fond of Mushu. Mushu's, Mushu's been my guy since day one. What color is my shirt? It's a it's a nice maroon, burgundy, oxblood type color. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, I need to watch Mulan. I miss it. I have not watched the Incredibles 2 trailer. I've been working and I keep forgetting to watch it because I, I always see it when I'm on social media on set and, and I can't play it because it'll be too loud. So, I'm going to check it out. Are you guys excited for Incredibles 2? I have to say, I've personally been waiting for it since, um, 
since the first one came out. Because that was one of my favorite movies. So I'm super excited. So many good things happening. New Star Wars, new Incredibles. Ugh, guys. It's an exciting time. New Shadow Hunters coming in April. Ugh, it's going to be wicked. One of my favorite things to scenes in Shadow Hunters. I mean, I guess I should talk about new stuff. Okay, my phone keeps spazzing. This is so weird. Sorry, I know it stops the video every time I leave. I leave this app. It's like my phone. Anyway, technology is not my forte. Um, I think my favorite scene is yet to come. That I can't tell you why. Although, although, alternatively, I may have just shot my favorite scene this week. Oh, but then there was one. See, this is what happens when I try and, when I try and pick favorites. It doesn't happen. I can't do it. Sorry, I'm sifting through all the questions. How many phones do I have? Just the one. Just the one phone. That's all I can handle. <laughs> I spoiled nothing of Maze Runner. I know not what you say. I hope we have a fourth season. That would be really nice. I would love to continue this show. It's it's such a special experience, and I know, I know. Uh, looking back on it, it's you know, in twenty years, I'm gonna look back on this and go, that was that was special because it's so rare that you have an experience in this industry where you really, really do have a family that works together in every aspect and everybody is there working their hardest, putting in their absolute 100% effort to make the show better and to to help everyone else do their job better and, and to push everyone to the next level. And it, it's so fascinating because it is that sort of symbiotic, well-oiled machine that, that you dream about when you work in this industry. Lucy Clary with Malik, yes. Uh, that's all I can say. But yes, it does happen. Is there anyone on the cast I didn't like at first? No. Actually, that's kind of been the gift of this show, is everyone who's come onto the show has clicked in um, immediately. And it's it's been a good group. But I think that speaks to the group itself. Because that's kind of just how we are. Lots of Isabel and Clary. Not to worry. There's much, much, much girl power this season. Right? I agree. I think we need super shadow natural hunters. Shadow super... Yeah, no. I don't, I don't know what the combo title would be. I'll leave that to you guys. Which Hogwarts class? Um, I, I honestly think I'm a Ravenclaw, but I, I feel as though I have a sprinkle of Hufflepuff, a little bit of Gryffindor, and a dash of Slytherin on certain days, but only certain days. Mostly Ravenclaw. I mean, I think by that analytical description of what Hogwarts house I am, I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> oh dear. Super shadows. I like that. Shadow naturals. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Riven Falls for the win. How are my days going other than on the set of Shadow Hunters? My days are the set of Shadow Hunters. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So there you have it.
I don't know when I'm coming back to New York City. Hopefully soon. I love that city. Always, um, always energizes me when I'm there. There's always something to do. There's so much to see and do and explore. and There's always something new. That's why I love New York. There's always more to explore. There's more to see. I'm reading through all of your questions right now. My favorite ice cream? Anything with cookie dough. Uh, next season of Shadowhunters is coming April 3rd. Uh, to freeform. So that means the morning of April 4th, it should be on Netflix, from what I understand. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. All right, you guys. Uh, I have about five more minutes, and then I'm going to have to go. Eyeballs. Hello. <laughs> Oh no, I hope you had fun at Comic Con, even though we missed each other. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? I say I say sure, why not? Whatever floats your boat. I mean I enjoy it from time to time. Dogs or cats? Both. Definitely both. Um, I have to go because I have to go learn my next script for Shadow Hunters. I have work to do, folks. Favorite Broadway musical? Right now, probably, oh, can I have a three-way tie between Hamilton, Dear, Dear Evan Hansen, and Come From Away? Thank you very much. Ice cream or pizza? It depends on the ice cream. It depends on the pizza. Um, if it's cookie dough ice cream, all the way. But if it's Chicago-style pizza, game over. Always Chicago-style pizza. Well, for me, at least. I mean, to each their own, but that's what I grew up on. And that's what, for me, is like the winning. I think Newsies is a great Broadway show, actually. I just saw Aladdin, and it was incredible. It was a proper show, and I, I really enjoyed it. Anything that has people tapping on stage on Broadway, I think, is just, just right. All is right with the world when I see tap dancing. Do I like Star Wars? Yes, I love Star Wars. I grew up on Star Wars. Favorite Hamilton character? <gasps> All of them? I don't know. I can't pick. That's that's that question is too hard. Good for you. I think that's amazing that you want to be a director someday. I think you should absolutely pursue that. I wish you all the best. Yes, Jordan Fisher. Um, how exciting is it that he just won Dancing with the Stars? I am so proud of him. Um, I woke up to that news on Good Morning America and had a, did a little happy dance in my apartment of my own. Not as good as his dances, of course. But um, it's always fun to see your friends succeed and do well. So many good questions, you guys. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to read through them all to make sure I don't miss anything. My first role, uh, I was a dancer in a community theater show, and at that point, I fell in love with acting and with being on stage, and and that translated into film and TV, and and it was all over from there. His dances are like his high notes. You are so right. Who do I hang out with the most on set? Whoever I'm working with. And I can't tell you who that is because that would reveal too much about the season. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, mm, that's a good question. My favorite thing about Clace is that they are... are amazing compliments to each other in that when one is weak, the other is strong. Um, and when one 
needs support, the other will be there for them, and, and vice versa. And they're both fierce fighters, and they both will sacrifice anything for the people that they love. Um, but in the end, they're, they will do anything for the other. And that, that is, they're, they're each other's strength and weakness, and I think as, as characters, that's a brilliant sort of um, strength and flaw that gives so many levels and so much depth to play with. And it's fun for us. <laughs> New projects for Catmac? Maybe. Um, but I can't say anything yet. That's soon. Tissues during clay scenes? Well, of course. You need tissues, you could, you could need tissues for any scene. Because think about it this way. You'll either be crying, or you might be laughing so hard that you're crying, or you might need to hide behind the tissues because it's scary. You know, so tissues are always a good idea. Tissues are multi-purpose tools. They can be used for just about anything. So, you know, just, just always good to be prepared. You can even like, you know, if you're if you're stressed about the the tension on screen, you can make little origami animals out of your tissues, or you know, you can fold little flowers, or uh, or you can um, uh, what else can you do? You could organize them. You could pull them out and fold them, and then put them back in. Um, <laughs> you could you could uh, make little ghosts out of the tissues. <laughs> you draw little faces on them. You could make snowflakes and put them on the window. I mean, it's almost, you know, it is the holidays. Might as well decorate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll quit while I'm ahead. I know I'm no help. I wish I could tell you guys more. We'll have more information for you guys soon. I promise we'll have more information soon. Can't tell you how soon, but soon. You're too busy crying to make origami. You're so sweet. <laughs> all right you guys well thank you so much for chatting this has been really really fun um i really appreciate everything that you guys are and all that you do and thank you for loving the show thank you for watching the show um thank you again for supporting glass slipper um between now and december 31st at midnight it will be available for download and for streaming and then it will be gone so get it while you can help support girl up and uh this will be great can't wait for you guys to see shadow hunters and we will chat again very soon enjoy the rest of your night guys stay safe have fun enjoy the holidays with your families good night